Each spring, spotted salamanders, wood frogs, and other amphibians migrate to their breeding habitat. The vernal pools and ponds their species have used for hundreds or perhaps thousands of years. Superimposed upon this ancient world, however, is a newer world of roads and cars. In areas where salamanders, frogs, and toads are forced to cross even moderately busy roads, populations of these animals are likely to disappear. Helping amphibians safely negotiate road crossings is imperative to their long-term survival. Here's where you come in. Become a salamander crossing guard. Helping salamanders is fun, but it's also important. It happens on rainy nights in late March and throughout the month of April when temperatures are above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Salamanders wait until it's quite dark to move. Frogs may begin at dusk. Conditions can be difficult to predict. Sometimes it rains in the early afternoon but stays warm and humid throughout the evening. Or it's raining but cold. Sign up for Beak's Salamander Hotline and we'll send you email alerts with our best predictions of when to go out. You will need these things. Rain gear, at least some part of which should be light colored. A reflective vest and other reflective materials such as a reflective armband or just reflective tape stuck to your clothing. A flashing clip-on light. A bright flashlight with fresh batteries. Bright lights can vastly increase your efficiency at finding and moving salamanders. Some volunteers have learned the hard way that an ordinary flashlight, especially one with waning batteries, might not reveal amphibians until you're <clears throat> upon them. If, on the other hand, you have a bright enough light, you can clearly see all amphibian movement over a large swath of road and can move quickly and confidently. Don't wait for the rain to start. Make sure you have a bright light and enough bulbs and batteries to keep it bright. You won't be sorry and the salamanders will thank you. An example of a good flashlight is a lantern like this that uses a six volt lantern battery. Your typical 2D cell flashlight is probably adequate as long as it has fresh alkaline batteries. These small LED lights can be bright, but you'll find that the light isn't penetrating enough to help you see amphibians on the road. Headlamps are helpful, but you'll need a flashlight too. Make sure your hands are clean with no lotion or hand sanitizer. Salamanders readily absorb chemicals through their skin. The following items are also recommended. Salamander crossing signs help alert motorists to your activities. A spatula can be helpful for removing dead amphibians from the road so you don't count them twice while you're collecting data. And finally, a clean bucket is often used by volunteers when they have to move many salamanders at once. <laughs>